Hi, no, this is not the wrong channel. You're on Monkey Pixels, and today I'm taking over because I was testing the Crane 3. I forgot to say that my name's Belle. That's true, you forgot it. My name's Belle. <laughs> it's all right. Welcome to Monkey Pixel. We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three, listen. But I am nervous and then I do like this and that and then I don't know and then I'm looking down to my sheet and I'm nervous. This review is just a short overview of the Crane 3. We're gonna do a part two where we talk about the Crane 3 in more detail, also with a different setup, with a heavier camera and maybe also with a Sony, with a different monitor and we're gonna test it to the ground. So first of all, I'm gonna let you know why I really like the Crane 3 and why I'm doing the review. Lately I started my own kind of thing, like my baby is Monkey Pixel Skate, so like we put the icon somewhere. I'm doing figure skating videos because I come from figure skating. And on the eyes, I mean, it can be somehow stable working with the belt, but most of the time it's like really bumpy and you cannot really shoot without a gimbal. So we teamed up with June uh, to test the Crane 3 lap. There's nothing to add, it's just June. 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 But everybody knows it by Scion. I don't think I do. I think so. I, th I think so deep down, it's Scion, but it's June. These are my notes. Yes, I'm writing on paper. We have a tech channel and I'm writing on paper. Not on the iPad, not on my phone, yes on paper. So the first thing I really love about it is the new design. I can lock way more in and go way higher in a locked position. So it's way more stable. What you also have to consider is the height. I'm not as tall as Damien, so if he is working with a gimbal with a ring, it's like he can go way higher than me without like being in a weird position. He's like this, and then it's way more comfortable. For me, it's always like this, and then it's really f***ing, sorry, my wording. It's really exhausting. Also, the underslung is really important for me because on the ice, I'm also filming a lot of the skates and I have to switch fast. With the new design, I can just switch from normal mode to underslung. And I did my best, I tried every mode. Modi? Mode. Modes? Every mode. I tried every mode. Let's talk about the favorite button on this gimbal. It's the go button. And it's basically a sports mode on the gimbal. When I'm shooting on the ice, sometimes I have to go around corners, around the person really quickly. With the go button, it's like I'm in pan follow mode and then I just push the go button and go around the corner and leave the button alone. So I only push it as long as I need it and then after I'm still 
in the mode I was before. And then with the pen follow mode, I can also go in underslung. With the follow mode, it's kind of hard going underslung and you have to do it really carefully. It's possible, we tried it, but on the eyes, I prefer it to be on one level and stable and not tilt. But I have to say, the follow mode is way better. Like, I feel like it's way better than on the Crane 2 because on the Crane 2 it felt like sometimes it's a little bit mechanical. And that's why I also like the go button because then I can go around corners without the camera to, to be mechanical, like without the gimbal to move mechanically. <sighs> of course there's still lock mode, which is placed not on the upper handle, it's placed on the lower handle. You can just push it with one finger, like, like I'm always switching my hands, by the way. Uh, even when I'm shooting, because sometimes I'm exhausted with the one arm and then I switch it. But actually it's not a problem, it's just with the buttons a little bit. But most of the time I stay, I'm staying in pan follow mode and just push the go button, which I can do with the left hand as well. The lock mode, we really didn't try that much because on the eyes I don't actually need it. But we're gonna do another video with Sony and the Crane 3 and then we're gonna test it. I talked about the go button, I talked about the pair follow mode, I talked about the follow mode, about the lock mode. So as I said before, we're gonna do a part two of the Crane 3 review with another camera, another setup, a lighter camera and also a heavier setup. Does it work with the Crane 3? That's the question for next time. As for now, I'm done. Subscribe, comment, I love you. Okay. Okay. Hi, my name is... Hi. <laughs> this is not my voice. <laughs> I'm doing a review and somebody tells you, shut up. This is not working, I have to talk to you. They fucking hate me. They fucking hate me, the people. Don't you think? Design and ergonomics. Psh, you shut up. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you hate it. Stop. We have to stop because he you did not reformat card. If you like me in front of the camera, let us know.